This is the return of awareness to its creator. Now within that, there is a journey of billions of, as we perceive it, years, which consists of non-physical experiences, physical experiences. So when we wake up from the physical, meaning in a sense when we die, or when we actually physically die, there is, there, it, there is definitely an analogy between that and this. It's just on a different scale or in a different way. The identity of the personality disappears. We wake up into something that sees what just occurred more as a dreamlike thing that's not, it's relevant, it's beautiful, but it's not important in the same way that we give importance to things here. It's more like trying to remember a dream you had four nights ago. When you wake up to non-physical, ah, I'm back to me. I've been inside of this tunnel vision for so long because I knew I could take it because I wanted to experience the lessons of limitation and bring love, light, confidence, and faith to my blindness. But boy, is this a nice bath to be back in spirit, to know again, ah, this is who I actually am as an individual. What I'm talking about is that the awareness, which makes up all the infinite levels of consciousness of the individual that belongs to, shall we say, a soul, that belongs to an oversoul of souls, an oversoul of oversouls, an oversoul of oversouls that contains oversouls, that contains souls, that contains physical extension. The absolute oversoul being love presence energy. All that is. Everything that exists. Being that consciousness point of view which experiences everything simultaneously now, past, future, parallel realities, present. That is the absolute oversoul whose point of view is that of all oversouls, all experience. All of its parts experienced at only one moment, and that is the now moment that we are all exploring from different angles every single second. Every single second is a different parallel angle of the same now moment. But there is no space, there is no time, there is no movement. There is no individuality separate from another individuality. There is only one isness, presence, energy, love light. Beyondness is beyond that. This does not mean you have to have the experience. I've never had the experience consciously. It's not possible. Quite frankly, it's not possible. Even your higher self has never had that experience. Even your higher self's higher self is not having that experience. It is the all that is that has that experience. We are experiencing portions of that with our consciousness. Yes, the base frequency of consciousness is that which contains all at once. And that is what we do tap into from our own point of view, from our own level of consciousness. We align ourselves with that. We lessen the difference between our vibration and that of all that is. That is what spiritual practice is, does. That is the journey. And the journey is endless. Infinity, realizing infinity is to, you can do this from any point in creation, from any level of consciousness, really, is to realize that the awareness that makes up every possible experience, the one is the enabler of all that, but is itself not affected by all it. In a sense, to itself, none of this has ever happened in the way that we feel things have happened to me. That, that just doesn't exist. It's blown wide open. So it's the end of existence as an I, I am, or as even awareness, feeling like, oh, it is aware. Awareness initially is still, like in the I-I state, awareness identifies itself with itself, which is still an identity. It's like, hey, I am awareness. And it's kind of accurate, right? Because awareness is awareness. But when it realizes that it's not the absolute, when it achieves the absolute humility, it gives up, naturally, organically, it gives up its right to identify itself as anything. Because the bottom drops out of that awareness. There is no solid ground for anything to land on anymore. So there's nothing to really identify with. It's just one black hole. Anything that comes into your awareness disappears into nothing ever happened. Yeah. Hello, trauma. Yeah. What you're left with is transparent awareness, the free agent, free to explore and express consciousness and love and light and passion and joy and bliss more so than ever. 
more fearlessly than ever. Because now you know you cannot be harmed. Now you know that simultaneously to yes, the I am this can be harmed. Consciousness can experience what it's like for the I am this to be harmed. Awareness can be aware of the presence holding all that room. You can have that experience and you will. Life's not always easy. Life is everything. Life is complete. Life is a dance. But the bottom has dropped out of your consciousness. It no longer is perceived to have a substance or a basis or a center point. It's perceived as an empty black hole leading into complete forgetfulness of all that is. Foreverness, infinity. Just the one before anything got expressed out of the one. So everything in a sense that you experience, even though you can feel it more so than ever, even you, though you can hurt more than you've ever hurt before, at the same time, you're not bothered by it. It doesn't stick like Tavalon, like emptiness. So with this, more and more as your transparent awareness, awareness transparent to infinity, to the black hole of nothingness, of the one, this gives rise gradually, but quite rapidly in my experience of this, to a sense of well, an absolute humility, but also a sense of less and less and less and less and less resistance to suffering. As a result, since you're no longer afraid of suffering, there's not really that mechanism left in you that tries to avoid suffering. Doesn't mean, you know, you do irrational things. Doesn't mean you don't prefer pleasure over pain on a bodily level. All these things are still intact. But with the addition of something that is truly indescribable, something you can always rest in and return to, something you can always know as your true self. And so you become more and more fearless, more and more open. And you see that even as you are hurting badly, there's nothing in you that protests against that. Why would it? Why would it? 